In this episode of the Total Mix Effects Beginner's Guide, we talk about the differences between the submix mode and the free routing mode. But before we start, please make sure that you have subscribed to our channel and that you also clicked on the notifications button to get all the future updates from this channel. So let's look at the different routing modes in detail. The main difference between the free routing mode and the submix mode lies in the way we can operate audio routings. To route an audio signal in the submix mode, all we have to do is to select a hardware output, or in this case, a submix, and then turn up the input channel faders. So as you can see, we work on a per submix basis and it's very easy to see and to understand what is currently going on in your Total Mix FX session. In the free mode, we don't have the option to select a submix. Instead, we are working with the routing destinations at the bottom of each of the input channels. So to send an input channel to a hardware output, we select our destination and then turn up the level amount for this particular hardware output or submix. So as you can see now, we can work in the submix mode on several submixes at a time. If I switch now over to the submix mode again, you see that we change the routing destinations just to one submix. So in the free mode, we are able to work way faster, but it is not very easy to understand sometimes what is currently going on. Okay. I hope it's clear now that both routing modes have their pros and cons. And depending on your workflow, one might suit you better than the other. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about Total Mix FX, about RME products in general, please write us a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time on the RME Audio channel.